So the wild world of smartphones continues to get more interesting, especially in the department of screen to body ratios and so-called bezel-less smartphones. One of the major players in that space, Vivo, who first showed us the idea in the form of the Apex. I made a video about it. It was a concept phone that started to get us thinking about what futuristic phones might look like. So in front of me today, I've got the Vivo Nex, and this is the retail version of the concept device, the Apex. Ooh, this carries forward the in-display fingerprint scanner. Ooh, so there's the phone. Interesting pattern on the back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a bit of a color shift. It's a glass back, so it does have a glossy finish to it. You can see the camera unit up here. So it is a dual lens setup with a flash underneath. Type C connector on the bottom, no notch on the top. But first, we have a case included. Ooh. All right, very nice. Let's get to the main attraction. So there it is. There is a bit of a bezel along bottom, but it isn't much. We have nothing, no notch, no obstructions of any kind. There is what your full screen display looks like. Now, something you'll notice along the bottom here is these three indicators, and that is how you're gonna navigate the phone. You're all curious about the camera. If I flip around to the front, boom. Listen to this. that camera is rated to go up 50,000 times. See myself, I'm not taking selfies that frequently. 50,000, it's a lot of selfies. Will, would you agree? There's something so captivating about watching that little camera raise up. So I told you already that this takes you home, the simple swipe up, if you push and hold, you get into the multitasking. Swiping on the right button takes you back. And then on this side, it'll bring up your quick toggle settings. Now, you know, I gotta test the selfie camera. It is so fancy, but does it do the trick? Detail, detail. That is a, a work of art. Leonardo da Vinci, eh, Van Gogh, ah, uh, Picasso. E Rembrandt. So that's an F2.0 8 megapixel image right there. Okay, say hi. That's a hilly hoo ha right there. That's his full name. It's on his birth certificate. He didn't want me to tell you. Check the birth certificate. I said that! 1080 by 2316. And it's also, of course, OLED. 12 megapixel F1.8 and 5 megapixel F2.4. Okay, here we go. Register the fingerprint. It is scanning through the display. Here we go. Oh, man, that's satisfying. Bam. Now it is worth mentioning on the Apex, I had a huge region that I could tap on. It's simply difficult from a cost perspective to put that into a retail device right now. Unlocking your device is a thing that you do multiple, multiple, multiple times a day. Will, how many times do you unlock your device per day? 100 plus hilly who daily do da day. Jack, how many times do you unlock your phone daily? You do the same as well? What are you doing on your smartphone? Oh man. Nonetheless, here we have an interesting package. Now the fingerprint scanner, you're gonna get used to that location. You'll likely get better at it. Can't wait to see the full concept version that I tested on the Apex boiled down into something retail. Oh, how big is the battery, Will? 4,000. And now, of course, the important consideration, price. Can you tell me the price, Willie Do? Will, come, come over here, come, come on. Get the chair. This is 6.59 inches. Mm -hmm. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's a lot of screen. Will he do for scale? The price. Will he knows. He does the research. He stays up at night. That's him. He knows these things. Uh, they don't sell in the States apparently. That is terrible. The cool part here is that 4998 RMB, depending on when you do the conversion or when you watch that, that's around 780 bucks. But if you don't need the max storage, you go to the 128, the conversion on that, 700 bucks. 700 bucks. The Snapdragon 
845, you got the in-screen fingerprint scanner, you got eight gigs of RAM, up to 256 gigabytes of storage, and you're starting at 700. 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and the screen is 6.59 inches. And you have Willy Do for scale. I don't know, I might even put a SIM card in it. How about that? I might even put a SIM card in 